Well, anyway, when most of us think of cartoons, we Disney or Looney Tunes or maybe Saturday morning TV. Well, there's a lot of animation in theater screens this summer, and that includes Disney's Peter Pan, the new Roger Rabbit short, Matt Groening's Simpsons vignettes from the Tracy Ullman show. They're playing with 20th Century Fox movies this summer. There's even an animated version of Babar the Elephant. But specialized theaters around the country are also showing a different brand of animated cartoons. And if you've never been exposed to them before, well, you're in for a treat. Looks different, sounds different, is different. This is Japanese animation, and to many people, it's the state of the art. So much so that a cult has grown up around these films, and a new company, Streamline Pictures, has been formed for the sole purpose of distributing them to American movie theaters. The response so far has been good. As far as I can tell, the response has been very good. Uh, great reviews, uh, audience uh, participation at them has been overwhelming. At a film festival in Pittsburgh, for example, Lapita was given the highest rating of every film shown there, and they showed 83 films. So I, I think, yes, and I think the time is about right for Japanese films to come into the United States uh, in, a, in a proper way. Laputa, the film you're watching that scored such a hit at the Pittsburgh Festival and elsewhere, has been referred to as the Star Wars of animation. And it's easy to see why. It's a sky-high adventure with cliffhanging thrills and breathtaking art. It's based on a story by Jonathan Swift, the saga of a young orphan girl who learns she's the lost princess of a floating city in the sky. She's chased by sky pirates and government agents who want to take the magic pendant she wears around her neck. In this sequence, she's rescued by pirates from a burning castle and the clutches of a giant robot. Another import that's already caused a lot of talk is Twilight of the Cockroaches. Oh, <laughs> this black comedy combines live action and animation in the story of a bachelor who lives with cartoon cockroaches until he starts dating his next door neighbor, who declares war on the animated insects. Not the kind of stuff you'd expect to see from Disney. Many of the best Japanese animated features are based on popular comic books and designed by their artists. The fact that some of these comics are now being distributed here in America has helped create an audience for the animated films. But don't expect to see them in your neighborhood video store just yet. I really feel that these are the type of films that should be seen in a theatrical setting because the scope of the, of the picture, the color, the brilliance of the animation all comes out on the big screen. It just transcends anything anyone's ever seen in terms of Japanese animation, which has primarily been seen on video at this time. So, the next time you think of animation, remember, it's not just kid stuff, and it's not just American. There's a whole world out there. Come back! Some really amazing things there. Both Laputa and Twilight of the Cockroaches will be playing over the next few months in cities from Seattle to Portland to Cincinnati, Ohio. So take a look for them, and they really are worth seeing, especially in a the theater. And Leonard, you know what my favorite was? I can just guess, John. Twilight of the Cockroaches. John liked it so much, he even got his chair Chair's turned around for it. <laughs>